In today's spectacular attack, I rant about a horrible experience I had trying to get an appointment at the hospital. The hospital I work at. Okay, I have to get something off my chest. Um, I was going to do a different video about something else this week. But then something happened yesterday and I need to rant about it and that's what my videos are for or for me to rant about things and for you guys just to listen and um, if you somehow like what I'm saying here go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button and all those other things that you're supposed to do for uh, that the YouTube channel people ask you to do that that the YouTubers ask you to do. Do all those things. Anyway, for the past week and a half or so, I've been having some sinus pressure pain issues. I think it's because um, I've had some all, all my teeth fixed and um, it used to be that like I'd have inflammation in my teeth in different places, but now that like all the teeth are fixed, they, 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 there's just this horrible pins and needles pressure type thing and it goes through my ear and it's just so fucking frustrating and um, this happened one other time back in March and I went to the walk-in clinic at the hospital that I work at and uh, they they unclogged my ear and gave me Flonase, which was great. Worked well. Everything went away. But now in the fall, when the temperatures changed again, symptoms fucking came back. Still taking Flonase. Um, I wasn't taking that much Flonase a week and a half ago or so. I mean, I would I would take it, but I didn't think there was. I don't think there was enough in the bottle for it to spray out and go into my nose. That might have had something to do with it. I don't know. But one thing I thought I would try to do is try to get my ear unclogged again and to go to the hospital to do it. But they got rid of the walk-in clinic on the main site of the hospital. There are walk-in clinics for my hospital in other areas of the state of New Hampshire. I went to where the walk-in clinic was and I asked, well, what do, what, what do employees do now? And they're like, well, you, you can call Ahmed, occupational medicine, and, um, you know, talk to the employee health clinic. Because I don't have a PCP. I, I used to have a PCP. I don't have one anymore. Um, I tried to get a new PCP. My old PCP left, graduated something. And so I don't have a PCP and I'm on a wait list to, to establish care with a PCP at some point in the near future, which probably means two or three years from now, whatever. Anyway, so like I call occupational medicine and I explain to them what's happening and what happened before. And they're, they asked me the, uh, they asked me the COVID screener questions and I answered no to all of them. And then they put me on hold for another minute and they're like, well, you need to get a COVID test. And I'm thinking, I didn't tell them this part. I was just thinking this to myself. The last time back in March, when I went to go and uh, get this taken care of, I did not need a COVID test. March, when COVID was pretty big back then, did not need a COVID test to, to go to the walk-in clinic. But for the occupational medicine clinic, for the employees, I need a COVID test. Uh, and I'm like, I'm thinking, well, do I need to go home right now? So like I asked, so I can stay at work for the rest of the day, go home tonight, get a COVID test, and then come back the next day and let you know that it was negative. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, thinking I'm just gonna wait for the ear to get better because 
that's my only option at this point. I went back to work, I was working, and I, my office shares an office with patient and family relations. So I talked to my next door neighbor, my next door office neighbor, and told them the situation. And they're like, what? <laughs> Do you mind if I call them? And I'm like, no, go ahead, call them. Can I stay in the, can I stay in the room when you call them? And she's like, sure, okay. So we, I listened to most of the phone call because I had to leave at some point because I had <clears throat> a uh, meeting to go to. And uh, basically, the occupational medicine admitted that they really should have seen me today. Because the representative, the patient and family relations representative, let them know all of the other clinics in the hospital don't require a COVID test before you go and be seen. And and they're like, well, this has been our way since COVID started. And it's just, we don't have as much space as the other clinics. So we require a COVID test to help screen out the patients, the employees. So it's like the employees need a COVID test to go to clinics, to go to the employee clinic, the employee clinic for people who don't have a PCP. If I had had a PCP, I could have just gone to the clinic and gotten taken care of, but they don't have a PCP and that sucks. I want one, but they don't have enough. There's, there's not enough space. All the PCPs are filled. They have the maximum amount of patients and I'm on a waiting list now. And it's, it's, it's just frustrating. Like, yeah, if I was a regular patient, if I was unemployed, if I was not working for the hospital, I would have gotten this taken care of to yesterday or today, even today, would have happened. Didn't happen. Didn't fucking happen. And, um, yeah, the, the rep, the patient and family relations rep got them to admit that, oh, probably could have seen them today and. We were both thinking that they might call me today, the next day, today, to schedule me an appointment, to get me an appointment. And that's all I wanted was an appointment. All I wanted was an appointment. Or possibly talk to me over the phone and tell me what else I can do. But the pressure, the sinus pressure issue is slowly going away. And it's just frustrating that I had to deal with that and how stupid COVID can be. How we're still using COVID for an excuse. It's irritating that the hospital, the occupational medicine department, uses COVID as an excuse to screen the patients. Because I imagine they have a lot of people, oh, hey, you have to get a COVID test. And they probably tell them that they need a COVID test. So they'll think, oh, they'll just go somewhere else and they won't bother us again. That's the impression I got. Is that they just, they, they don't have the room or the space or whatever, but at the same time, they probably don't want to see that many employees. There's a lot of employees out there who can't get a PCP right now. So it was just frustrating that I had to be one of those people. And I hope that my ear, right side of my face stops hurting. It's not hurting as much as it did yesterday, which is good. And I expect it not to hurt as much tomorrow as it did today. It's just, it just hurts whenever I eat or talk. So this has been a very painful video to make on many fucking levels. And that's the bottom line. If you smell that the McTaggart attack is cooking.